Hey students, my name is Miss Weaver and I'm going to be your basic digital photography teacher. I'm here by myself in the studio in the back of our classroom and I just wanted to take a minute to introduce myself mask free so you guys can see my face. Um, a little bit about myself. When I'm not here at the school, I enjoy baking, rock climbing, snowboarding, um, running recently, that's a new one for me. Um, I took a photography class for the first time when I was in college at Utah Valley University. Um, graduated with a major in business and marketing secondary education with a minor in digital media. I really picked up photography as a hobby of mine. Bought my first camera when I graduated from college. Um, and then after teaching here for at Hunter High for a couple years, I had a job opportunity to be the photography teacher. And I was psyched because I really enjoy photography. Um, mostly I've been taking the pictures of my baking, uh, but more recently I got a job taking pictures of some soap um, product photos. Something that is new to me, but I actually really enjoy it. Something that you've probably seen when you were signing up for your classes, or maybe you didn't notice, whatever. Um, there is an art photography and there's a CTE photography here at the school. I teach the CTE photography, which still is very much art based. However, the main focus of the class is learning how to use what's called a DSLR camera. For those of you who are going to be here in class, um, you will have access to DSLR cameras uh, daily after we go to, through the history of photography um, and talk about how to use the cameras a little bit. Those of you who are doing online learning, if you have access to a DSLR camera, that's the best case scenario because you'll be able to take pictures from home and still do the work in, from the class. Um, if you don't have access to a DSLR camera, hopefully we can figure something out and be able to check the camera out to you. Um, to do that though, you first need to pay your school fees. When teachers first came to the school this year for our regular meetings that we have before school actually starts, um, we were told that it's really important for us to build an online platform in case something happens with COVID-19 and we are all working from home again. Um, I post all of my coursework on Canvas. This is actually something that's not new to me. I've been doing this since my first year of teaching. Um, so if you're ever wondering where you're gonna find what to do, it'll be on Canvas and I will make a tutorial video later on how you're gonna actually access that information and what you're gonna look for, what you're gonna do, etc. Um, something I wanted to talk about with online learning is synchronous versus asynchronous learning. Um, so with digital learning or distance learning, whatever you wanna call it, you have what's called synchronous learning and asynchronous learning. With synchronous learning, you are gonna be talking on video chat with me, um, basically meeting in a class virtually where we can actually communicate with each other uh, at the time of the video. Asynchronous learning is where I will publish the content for you um, and you will be able to access that at any point in time during the day. Um, I wanted you guys to know I will mostly do, be doing asynchronous learning. So I uh, don't plan regular video chats. Um, my digital learners, I have to teach here in person four days a week. And then good news, we get Fridays where we can actually work on digital learning for everybody from home. Um, if you for some reason feel the need to have a video conference with me or want me to explain something to you, awesome. Send me an email at wnweaver at graniteschools.org and we can set something up. I know this year is going to be a little bit different, but you guys are going to do great. We're going to do great. I look forward to working with you. See ya.